All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Jazz Piano Short Practice Ideas. This week we're working on a improvisation drill that I like to call the grinder. It takes a lot of brain power and focus as you get going with this exercise, but when you feel like you're gaining some momentum and the ability to do this, uh, and, and when you're practicing on a song that you know you have to solo on and you're running this drill, you're really building a lot of um, physical memory and and kind of focus in your mind, focusing your mind into the chord shapes and some interesting uh, chromaticism and 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 we're really working on targeting. And so, if I knew I really wanted to up my game on uh, improvising on a certain tune, I would spend a lot of time practicing this grinder. And so, without further ado, let's just jump right in. Um, I'm trying to keep this video a little bit short so that it doesn't drag on and on. We're gonna be playing the beginning of Blue Bossa. So we're gonna go C minor seven, to F minor seven, to B flat seven, to D half diminished, to G altered, to C minor seven, okay? The first step of the grinder is that we play up the arpeggio of the chord. We're gonna play three, five, seven, nine on each chord. Um, and so starting from C minor, I'm just gonna go in eighth notes. F minor from the third, B flat seven from the third, D half diminished from the third. Here I'm gonna use the E flat on top, and then G altered, and then C minor. Okay, so I whatever my tune is, I get very comfortable doing that through the whole song. The second step is that I now use two notes to create a pickup into that arpeggio. So I'm gonna use a lot of chromaticism if possible. That's uh, the purpose of this is to get chromatic. So try not to stay too diatonic with this. I'm gonna play an upper approach, a lower approach, or an enclosure to the third of each chord. And it's gonna be eighth note pickups. So I'm gonna start out one, two, three, four. Here's the upper approach. Here's the F minor. Here's the D flat seven. Here's the D half diminished. Here's the G7 altered, and then here's the C minor. If I was doing the lower approach, okay, if I was doing the enclosure, half step enclosure, I could go either direction. Okay? So I, whatever my target tune is, I start practicing that. I'm using my two note chromaticism into my arpeggio and I'm playing through the tune. One thing that starts to happen a lot of the times is you start to realize that you're going up the piano and you need to come back down. So what you might do there is you might do what we call an upside down arpeggio, play the first note of the arpeggio up an octave and the rest of it in its original position. So I approach the third of D half diminished with an upper approach and now I'm jumping down an octave to play the rest of the chord. Same thing here with the G7 chord. And close the third that time. Jump down to the flat five, or how about the sharp five? The seven and the flat nine. And now I have enough room to ascend again. Okay. So the reason this is called the grinder is because you pick a tune, you run this exercise, and you start adding the chromaticism, you start adding the upside down arpeggios, and then you, when that's starting to feel comfortable and is getting into your hands, then you start changing the arpeggios. So instead of playing three, five, seven, nine, now you're gonna play five, seven, nine, three for each chord. So here's my C minor. Here's my F minor now, five, seven, nine, three, B flat seven, five, seven, nine, three. And now I'm gonna be playing those two note chromatic pickups into the five. And then I'm gonna get comfortable with that, then I'm gonna do the seventh, then I'm gonna start with the nine. And so you're working all of the shapes of the inversions of the basic rootless chord, and you're adding some chromaticism. 
All right, I know this is kind of a long video, but I wanted to get that out there. It's a difficult exercise, it's easy at first, but it really builds um, uh, familiarity with the harmony of a song, the chord shapes, and also super improves your ear and working on your targeting. So anyways, have fun practicing the grinder. Adios amigos.